Hey everybody, this is Bill with uh, Bill and Carol's Travel Project. Um, I'm just experimenting. I told y'all I would uh, update you on the solar panel deal. So, here's where we're at. Um, the generator was at 100%. It couldn't take any more charge. It was full. Now, I laid out uh, two solar panels, two 400 watt solar panels. And uh, right now, I'm just trying to run the battery down. Um, so I went in here and uh, actually only running the refrigerator. Um, the uh, It was only like 150 watts that that thing was putting out. And it would run it all day. So I wanted to run it down faster. So I came in and right now I am running three air conditioners but I'm only running them on the high fan mode. So uh, it'll take, when it gets down to about 80%, I'm gonna hook up uh, one solar panel and see, I know that's not gonna charge it because with three airs running, the thing was pulling 970 watts. And it told me it would do it for three hours. So I'm gonna hook up one solar panel and I know that's not gonna be enough to charge it, but what it should do is extend my time a little bit. And I'll uh, get back with you when I do that. So you can see I got two solar panels laid out. They're not connected yet. There's my third solar panel. Um, I've got the uh, generator mounted in this bay. It's not mounted, it's just sitting in there. But uh, I've got it, that's where my power's hooked into. And you can see right now, let me, it's gonna be in the sun and I don't think you're gonna see it on this screen it looks kind of flashy it's LED but it says that I got like three hours and it's at 89 percent and I'm using 937 watts going out zero watts coming in at this point Okay, that 400 watt panel actually only added about 200 and something watts. But even so, doing that, um, it did add about an hour to the runtime. So I'm gonna plug in the second solar panel and see what that does. I'll get into the positive. All right, so we have two 400 watt panels tied in series and now I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it but I'll get you a picture so a lot of what we have is 569 watts going out I'm sorry coming in 867 watts going out 
However, we have increased our time by, oh, probably about another three hours. We've got seven hours there. Okay, so if you can make any sense of what I've done so far, we got the two panels. Now we're still at a losing, we're at a negative charge, um, even though we're, we're taking out more wattage than we're putting in. But it extended the time from three, three and a half hours up to seven hours. And so now I'm gonna go hook up that third panel and see if it will allow me to just even just run even where you know it'll just it won't charge but it won't discharge and just run forever so i'm gonna try that next Yeah, by the way, the sun is about straight up, and it's 12.35, so uh, we probably got as good an angle as we could get. Okay, that... Uh, that input wattage came up to about 750 watts. I'm a little disappointed. There's, there is three, 400 watts. Should be a 100%, 1200. I'm not sure what uh, 750, what that percentage of efficiency is. I'll figure it out here in a little bit. But uh, so right now, I'm uh, well. I increased my run time to a nine hours. It'll run. It'll run three air conditioner just the fan on high for nine hours it says plus the refrigerator plus a few 12 volt lights of their their leds they're not pulling anything uh, i'm going to slowly uh cut air conditioners off and see what that does and then here in a minute i may go and like i said i was going to go unplug solar panels but as i was out there it seemed like the uh, wattage increased, like I said, up to 750. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna experiment some more. Stay tuned. All right, so I turned off the rear air conditioner fan. So now there's only two running. And that knocked it back by about 350 watts, which means now we're actually, well, we're probably breaking even with what's in. coming and what's outgoing it says it's on a chart it's it's charging up it'll only take it 163 hours to reach full charge at this stage as long as the sun's good you know this is a positive situation so i mean i could i mean i was just kind of testing this out for a little boondocking expedition and i feel satisfied i can run those panels out now if i don't run any air conditioners which i'll try in a minute um you know it may just charge back up so the thing is i have to time it to where when that sun goes down i'm at 100 percent, and that'll give me like about nine hours if i turn the air conditioners off it'll, it'll run my refrigerator and hopefully my cpap machine so uh yeah this is a pretty good experiment i'm kind of having fun figuring this out all right so i turned the second air conditioner off I'm running only on one air conditioner fan, which today I have the windows open. It's, it's perfectly comfortable in here. Um, probably if I'm boondocking, hopefully in the mountains, I won't even need to run any fans. 
but I'll show you that now we are actually making power. And uh, we're at 75% and uh, it shows that this, the battery's gonna charge all the way back up in about three hours running like this. So this would be a perfect scenario if it would be like when it comes nighttime, this thing's 100% charged. It'll quit charging when the sun goes down and uh, then I'll be running on uh, whatever I got stored. And uh, as long as I don't run air conditioners, I think I can run all night. So uh, yeah, this has kind of been a positive uh, deal. Of course, the next day, um, hopefully we'll get sun and it'll charge back up all day. And uh, every night I'll have a full pack. So. Okay, so I've got it down here to a pretty good, pretty fine arc where I'm putting in 760 watts and I'm only using 140 watts. I've turned off all the air conditioners. Windows are open. Uh, I am running three fantastic fans uh, that are venting any heat out the top. And um, I've plugged in this little electric fan and man, it's comfortable as all get out. So, uh, yeah, knowing that, I think I'm ready to go try a little boondocking away from the house. Um, and, you know, I mean, I've always got the generator. If it's cloudy or rainy, just fire up the generator and go on about my business. But uh, I've been waiting to try this out and uh, finally found something out. Thanks for watching.